Hello and welcome everyone and all. Welcome back to this place though, called the Dumbass Class and it is I, Hannes, as always, um, as we carry on our little jaunt through the encased world. Um, I believe last time we were about ready to set off. So let's begin our journey into the wastes of the dome. Wow. Thank you very much, Hannes. His voice does destroy me so much. Anyway, jumping straight back into the game. Uh, at this point, there is new content. But it starts getting very much, you can see the old content is there. They've just moved things around a bit. Huh, how interesting. Well, you guys should find out when I'm uh, pushing my mute to cough, because it... <laughs> what is that? Well, it's not, because I can't travel through there. Anyway, let us carry on with the game. Um, an orange truck... Sorry, an orange track truck is waiting at gate three. The vehicle's number has been scorched off by the desert winds and sands. This must be the transport Kingsley spoke of. The driver's side door is half open. A young woman is sitting behind the wheel. Her legs dangle to one her legs dangling to one side. She offers her hand. Hi, I'm Carla Morgan or Morgane. And you're the novice going to Nashville? Right. Uh, what's your name? How do you feel? Do you mind if I smoke in the car? A handshake is surprisingly firm. What did I call her? Carla? It's Claire. Clear? I'm going to call her Claire. Um... <laughs> Claire smells of soap, some fragrance, and slightly of gasoline. Ignore her. Um. Well, greetings. Yes, let me. Oh, your hand. It is so, so smooth and silky. I am Hannes. Pleasure, pleasure. What size are your feet, by the way? Sorry, Hannes is rather disgusting and it's, 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 it's difficult to keep him in tech. Check. Introduce yourself. She smiles. Hell. <gasps> hmm. I don't know if she would be smiling if, if she actually heard Hannes' response. Glad to meet you too. I've got nuts. Oh? Really? Like mine? Oh, you're offering. Ah, I see. Oh, want some? Or candy. Oh, I've got uh, chocolate-covered fruit. Try some. Did you know that candied fruit and dr and dried? Did you know that candy fruits fruit are dried, then boiled in syrup? You climb into the cabin and plunk yourself down on the passenger seat. The tractor is bigger on the inside than it looks. A wooden rosary is hanging from the driver's mirror. Ugh. The radio murmurs quietly. What is this? This thing. Remove it. I do not like this uh, symbol. It is offensive. My very nature. She slams the door shut and grins. Here we go. God willing, we'll get there before the storm hits. Mind... If I turn the radio up a bit, do you like music, blues, gospel? I, for instance, like Ugh, gospel. No, no, we'll we'll sit in silence. I know it burns my evil soul. 
You can't make out exactly what Claire likes, uh, the roar of the engine. Sooth Soothers? Oh, smothers the rest of her sentence, and the track lunges into motion. Oh, sweet relief. Sweet relief, engine, my love. So, as I said, Hannes is odd. He's weird, he's creepy, he's funny. Um, I do like him. Uh, this is the new map. Ah, oh, there was an unknown right next to the map. I didn't notice that before. <sighs> the Dome's Metrological Brewer was wrong. On the North Highway, you were overtaken by a strange, faintly glowing storm. The truck uh, stalled, and soon after, the screen for your Cronus went blank. The screen of your Cronus went blank. Then, as quickly as it Descended the whirling desert well, the wailing desert whirlwind vanished. Your very first mission began with an accident, a bad sign, to say the least. You don't make it to Nashville at a low. What? You don't make it to Nashville at a low. Sable shape, shapes, uh, saddle shaped mountain pass. The engine overheats and rapidly loses power. The truck coasts to a stop. Claire, god damn it! it... So I've, I've got a little bit of the sniffles and a little bit of a. a it's Hannes's voice that makes. I need to cough every now and then when I speak like him, so. If you do see that, yeah, you know what it is. Claire opens the hood and steps back from the steaming radiator. Here we go again. There are always some problems with this... What? Here we go again. There are always some problems with this gas station in these parts. Everything crumbles into dust. Anomalies. The blue strip... As Blue stares anxiously at the dark funnel cloud dancing on the horizon. Well, can, can you fix it? Fix it! Is, is that, that's your job, isn't it? Come on, get your wrench or something. Claire looks at you anxiously. Yes, I can. Well, I think I can. My person... My person says... He only teaches us with trials we can endure. My parson? Is that meant to be pastor? My pastor says he only... Pass on. Pass on? The blue look... The blue looks at the engine again. I will fix it, but it would be better for us to find some protection against this anomaly. Otherwise, we'll, we'll not go far. Ask around at the gas station whilst I'm working on it. See if uh, they know anything. Say that you'll look for a way to protect the truck from the anomalies and move along. Yeah, it would. He looks around at the open hood. All right. That's agreed then. I'll get everything ready in the machine in the meantime. Shading her eyes with one hand, she evaluates the black twister hovering on the horizon. We still have time to make it out before the storm. So we are back to the gas station. Now it's a little bit different than last time. Also, what do you have on you? Nothing. Great. Um it's a little bit different and also the same. You will notice that, again, this area is here again, the radiation zone. I wish you could zoom out a bit more. Kind of annoying. I don't like how games seem to 
Like, you can zoom into this, which is cool. This should go back further. But I want... Yeah. So we have some a lot of stuff. Um, however, most of it we've already seen. Most of it. There is some new stuff, which is which we are going to explore, obviously. Um, so first things first, I want to actually go around and just see what we can grab, what we can steal. Because again, we don't have any um, money on us. Uh, well, we, no, we've got a tiny bit of money. We don't have that many s sellable things. Uh, so we'll take that. I'm going to be a little bit picky though. I'm not just going to grab everything like I did last time. Because that was a little bit silly. I'm just going to grab the stuff that has some value. Uh, did I do that one first? No, I did not. No, I did not. Put that in there. And all of that. So that would be all three. Right. Now there is uh, something new, at the very least, down here. So although they have taken some things out, they have added... Well, actually, to be honest with you, they've added less than what they've taken out. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. what did that say? Oh, cool. What the fuck is that? Is that meant to be the storm on the horizon? That, that's hmm, less than impressive. Developers remove this. Don't have this in there. Like, in my mind, it was this gigantic thing that's, like, ominous and evil and... <laughs> that doesn't look ominous and evil. Yeah, no, 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 no. Right, where are we? Here we are, Hannes. Come forth, Hannes. So, stay away from the radioactive debris that's laying down there. Now, we get some liquidator gloves. Uh-uh. Okay, we'll have a look at them compared to our other gloves. So... Let's just put our researcher gloves right next to it. Makes it a little bit easier. So, we'd get defense, resistance, and energy damage. That's actually not bad. That plus eight to energy damage is pretty good. Considering we have this, which is energy. Um... Biological? I don't... No, that does sigh. So the heat damage would have been... Or is that protection? It doesn't tell you potential damage, does it? Uh, well, it does. It does. So yeah, technically, this is going to... Uh, <clears throat> our mechanical damage is also very high. Actually, our mechanical damage is higher than our... Huh. And our psychic damage is actually quite low. Although we haven't had many items that add psychic buffs. So... That was saying, I actually haven't looked into all that much. We do at the very least have um, a backup weapon. Although I will admit it hasn't actually put up the damage value. So maybe it doesn't affect damage. Maybe that's resistance. Do I want to go and speak to the old man about cooking? Not for the moment. Uh, let's just a bit of looting uh, don't go into this place yet 
If you do, you can trigger an, an event early. I found that out. The hard way. Well, actually, I say I found it out the hard way. I took the easy option to get out of it. Ugh, we will take that because I can't remember if the old man has stuff to sell. I know he used to. I think he doesn't have that much. Like, he has a few food items. But we don't have that much food. So, yeah. Yeah. Might be useful. Shotgun pellets. Fine, we'll take it. So, yeah. You'll see also that the car's now covered up. There's a few differences um, around here. But I did have a problem... I did have a problem in my play, private playthrough of... Uh, we didn't get that much healing... That many healing items this time. Because I didn't buy any from... Uh, from uh, the guy who had healing items. <clears throat> Scientist, that's the one. And excuse me, sorry, I didn't, I didn't silence my mic for that. Clearing of the throat... Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I do love the looting, but I am quite aware that looting isn't isn't the most enjoyable thing to watch all the time, unless you're a loot whore like I am. If you're a loot whore like I am, it's it's quite enjoyable. Watching the stockpiles increase. Right. Let us come over to the old man. Have I scanned? Who the hell is... Who the hell, I mean, come in. I don't think we've scanned one of these yet. Aha. Scanny, scanny, scanny. So again, we're going to quickly loot. Just in case there's anything... Special be found. I'm not going to take. No, don't sit down. No, no. Don't sit down. Uh, load of crap. So, okay, so so far, nothing. You never know. We might find a, a medi syringe or whatever they're called in this game. Ooh, a lockpick. We will have that. <laughs> this or does so this is one of the things that does make me laugh about the surely they must have tested and seen oh hang on the end the character just goes around huh it does make me laugh a scruffy old man with a wild and matted beard is sitting in front of the checkout terminal his, the badge on his blue jumpsuit is long since bleached away. The name, Aaron Melville, is written um, there in black marker. With a groan, he picks up a magnifying glass and peers through it. Begins poking at the keyboard with a knobbly finger. The computer plays a short tune. Mate. The system declares. The old man angrily sits, sets the magnifying glass aside. A grandmaster. You're a piece of metal, not a grandmaster. And a cheat to boot. He raises his hand to squint in your direction. Come on in, we're open. You're better off not eating here, and there's not, and there's nothing to buy, but come on in anyway. Uh, what is it you want? The shopkeeper raises from his seat, and you notice he's supporting a peg leg. 
a peg where his le left leg should be. Well, that's very noticeable in here. <laughs> Tell him your truck broke down. The old man looks over... Looks over your truck through the dust-covered... Can I move around? He's got some serious eyesight, if he could see. This is what I mean. Some parts are still the same. I know, I know. Rubber turns to dust and grease seems to evaporate. No need to worry about it, my dear. There's an active anomaly hereabouts. The gas station is really only three years old, though it looks more like 33. Ask the old man if he knows how to protect the truck from the effects of the anomaly. Marvel, um, sinks deep into thought. Well, yeah, yeah, I know. Sure thing. Uh, see the gas station over there? Some forefather thing grows out of the wall, and a small round thing falls out of it sometimes. Look in the basement. There must be... There must be just a couple of them. Just a couple of them? The blue removes a small key... Uh, on a long cord from his neck and gives it to you. Take the key and move away. Oh. Oh no, I want to... Where am I going to find that many pawns, you unwashed dog? Ask whether it always so deserted here. Local cuisine, how's life? Well, let's have a look at Barter first. So he lied to us. He said there was nothing to buy. He is a thief and a scoundrel. But this is also a melee. And this is a melee. But this is a melee. I'm wondering if the wrench cannot be used for wrench-like things. Oh. But okay. Now, unfortunately, he doesn't actually have any money. But what he does have is food. So we are going to buy some of it. Uh, even though some of it we can literally get from the machine. Uh, actually, I think that'll be all for now. Now, the other annoying question is we've got to pay for it. Because he doesn't have any money to trade, it's going to be a little bit annoying. I think if we put two of them in, yeah, okay, cool. It went perfectly. Marvellous. <clears throat> Ask him uh, whether it's always so deserted here. Aaron, sinks, uh, Aaron sticks out his lower lip a little and pow uh, and props his chin props his cheeks with his hand. It seems this topic is not very pleasant for him. Well, what did you expect, my dear? The place is dull, and if anyone comes, they always want something. Some bandits or some whites. Something pulls them into the marsh. White wing. The old man leans towards you and continues in a confidential tone. Today, one such came walking around, poking things with his scanner. Does not shake hands. Well, what kind of person is that? Let me ask you something. Let me ask you? Oh, what kind of person doesn't shake hands, let me ask you. How do you deal with bandit? It looks like this topic is unpleasant for Aaron. He frowns and twitches his shoulders. How do I deal with them, you ask? I've got a turret at the entrance. To scare the vultures, it would be priceless if it actually worked. I have a power panel in the basement. There was a short circuit there. I think 
if you feel like it, go and take a look. Uh, I'd go myself, but that leg of mine wasn't quite made for crawling in basement. The old man looks at his prosthetic size and scratches his head. Local cuisine? The blue Snickers, I mean... That I can cook for myself? It's, you know, a bit spicy. A bit special. <laughs> a bit spicy. Ask about life here? The old man sighs sadly. You call this life? I'm an old man. Life my ass. Move along. Uh, sure, we'll take it. I mean... Damn it! How long have I been? Oh, that's so annoying. So I don't know how long I was muted for there. Um, if it's a long time, I'll cut it out. If it's a short time, like I hope, we'll we'll you know leave it as a short little bit of silence, a break from my from my nonsense. Um, so we didn't find anything amazing. Just a few little bits, but I can't remember. I don't know what was heard or what wasn't. The crafting system in this game has been increased. So there is more stuff for us to do. Um, we're going to go and have a look at that in a second. I just want to talk to um, 
the blue here to see if he has anything for us. Uh, no. Oh, it's you. What do you want? Oh, wait. Okay, so we don't get anything for turning on the um, turning on the power system. Banged. Can I repair it? Oh my god, I repaired it. But it doesn't actually do anything. Ah. Should I not have that skill attached to my... Hmm. A bit odd. Okay, never mind. So, uh, if we come over to the gunsmithing bench, I think this is the wrong one, to be honest. But we can at least have a look at the stuff that is here. Basically, all of that stuff's the exact same. Uh, we want to craft all of them. And we want to craft all of them. Because that's just useful. That's just really handy to have a load of lockpicks. Uh, save it. I can't remember if there was anything around here. I am just going to do a circle quickly. Just in case the game's like, oh, you found a secret. You found a secret. Um, and it's not going to take me that long just to run around the edge. Okay, no. So there isn't. Actually, isn't there a door around the back? Yes, there is. Marvellous. Marvellous. Open that one as well, please. Beautiful. Uh, right, so let's have another quick looter of this place. Uh, I I don't want the wood. I, I just... I don't want it. There's no need for it, as far as I can tell, at the minute. And again, things like the nuts and bolts will end up getting thrown away at one point. I'm just grabbing them now just to grab them, basically. Because it's quicker just to go take all. But there is something in here. Which is this, the chemistry bench. Now I believe Hannes has chemistry. I, I ooh. <laughs> Does have chemistry? I mean, we'll find out in a minute. I'm pretty sure Hannes has chemistry. Although I am getting a little bit concerned now that he doesn't actually have it. Hmm. Take all of the goodies. I'm so annoyed that I actually ended up muting myself for however long. I don't quite know. I really hope it wasn't that long. Damn it. So, here we have it. Um, You can actually make all the drugs in the game now. Now, sadly, we don't have this uh, regiment. Regen, whatever it is. Box. So we can't. We don't have any alcohol. Oh, we picked up alcohol. I was sure we picked up alcohol. Huh. So anyway, like as you can see, you can make pretty much. Son of a. If we had just kept, if we had just kept the, ah, oh, you. No. Damn it. So yeah, it, it is quite kind of cool that you can now make all of the um, drugs in the game that you would normally uh, need. So our healing items, for example, are all secured. Now I am going to save it. I probably should have should have done this on screen because looking at the timer, we are about at the end of the episode. Now hopefully. If I do have to cut a little bit, it's not going to take us too low into the count. Hopefully we'll be around the 30 minute mark, which is what I like. So thank you so much for joining me um, for another adventure through the world of Encased. As we're getting closer and closer to Nashville. 
We have got one encounter, uh, two encounters. We actually got three encounters. No, there's a, there's a bit more new content to go through in this area. Let me just double check that I've got. Did I take cooking? Oh, I did. I did. Excellent. Excellent. No, we did take... I could actually put one of these up again. Um, We did take cooking. That's quite useful then. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Fear or temporary baffling. Leading them to attack allies or himself. Yes. Yes, we're going to take baffling. So, so yes, thank you so much for joining me here in the Dumbass class. I certainly hope you've enjoyed this episode and are looking forward to the future episodes. With me, the Lysexic Gamer, and of course me, Hannes. Take care everyone, and as always... Bye-bye for now. Was that right? <laughs>